but you don't have to fall at me Go ahead and be the corporate scourge that they train you to be And then you'll see what you get for your loyalty So I won't buy that crap they want to sell to me Because the goods I own won't set anyone free Okay, so uh, this is uh, my T1 cab defense keep build on a budget, as it were. Um, this fucking game, I wouldn't recommend spending money on it. They can fuck themselves. Um, uh, for this keep, I've probably spent somewhere between uh, 2500 and 3000 USD. Which is a lot. You could probably buy a better keep for cheaper than that. Um, but it's kind of nice to build it up and uh, do it yourself. Do it the way you want. Um, you get that enjoyment of uh, slow building. I'm going to be joining rallies as I do this shit. Because gold is one of the choke points on a low coining account. So to say it's midweek, it's uh, not event week. So we have this king scheme. Uh, so I already bought it today, so I don't think it's one of the ones available. No, nope, it's not. It's the uh, $5 package. It has the most amount of gems for 5 bucks. It's uh, 10 stacks of 5k, so you double that up, it's 100k. And it also has 25 march speeds, which also get doubled uh, via a double coupon. Uh... So uh, that's the one I like to buy uh, for this on minimal spending. I do buy the Alliance card and uh, obviously the Stamina Pack, which is super important. So as an overview, uh, I'm currently KE38. Um, 4.2 build, 2 billion. Uh, and yeah, um... I'm ready to go to KE39, um, but before I do, I want to try to get my victory column up. I should be able to move some gear around to get my six generals of 5.8 million each and build that up. Uh, the advantage there is that it'll uh, increase your construction and uh, construction and research speed. Uh, probably I can get three unlocked. I can't remember the needs for three. I believe they're... Um, Less uh, less restrictive than two. Two was the really big one, um, and but I think level four or five is harder, much harder. Certainly five, I believe it requires five or six max spec generals, and I currently don't even have one. So I'm aiming uh, I'm aiming for a victory column three uh, that gives a little bit of a reduction of uh, construction and research speed, which is nice. And a bit of march speed, and it also increases the uh, general's attributes a bit for a little more buff. Same with Triumphal Arch. I'm ready to increase that, so I got the two uh, BOG and BOC uh, scores uh, unlocked. So it's a matter of bumping that up, and again, hopefully I can get it to level 2 or level 3. I think the uh, latter levels are... Uh, much more difficult to uh, to unlock. So uh, obviously, I'm not too concerned about rally size. I'm not the rally leader on this keep, obviously, but uh, reinforcement capacity and then a bit of troop buff uh, is uh, is kind of nice to unlock. Uh, so uh, buffs are um, in you know the five and ten percent increases where you can find them and unlock them is uh, really helpful. So. Obviously, big coining keeps and uh, and all that have, you know, 100, 200, 300 percent. They're, they got all kinds of things going on. So, again, it's on a budget. Uh, so, the first thing, uh, just as an overview of, of my style, uh, I'm a very patient player. Um, I try not to overspend on reward events. I try not to fast track anything. So, that's why I always have things on the go timing down. So... Uh, I really believe in queuing, leaving things queued to time out, uh, rather than speeding every single thing up, uh, just to save your speeds and all that. So I have always uh, troops, all four troops training at one time. I have, uh, well, I've got healing going on, 
and I've got two different uh, researches going on. So I'm the military academy and my regular academy. I typically uh, do T1 calves, which takes about 20 hours for how much uh, I can unlock and uh, and complete that daily and then I will uh, queue a research and then complete it uh, to finish off the daily task um, and that's just a matter of queuing in um, you know uh, research that's um, uh, that I want to do that uh, doesn't take you know 80 days or whatever so currently it's the uh, subsidy training uh, usually uh, if I get zeroed in a battlefield I'm going to lose all my sub troops. So I want to, right now, my, my, my goal is to, to just increase the training so that uh, between battlefields um, I can uh, I can get that up. Uh, obviously, uh, I've worked on unlocking the really important stuff. So this, the HP, the defense, the subsidy attack buffs. Um, I haven't done much of the alliance, but uh, we've got all the uh, healing stuff done. Military academy stuff is done. Defensive stuff is done. Some of the stuff I wish it wasn't done, but it got done. And same with most of the advancement stuff is completed, obviously, for your research construction buffs. Uh, recovery, I've got too much done in there that I wanted. Um, so uh, that's... The least of my worries uh, for that. Military advance. Um, so I've got a, a good number of this done. Uh, which you want to work on. Because it's buffs and debuffs obviously. Um, again I'm not the rally leader. So I'm not too worried about rally capacity. Um, but my buffs and debuffs I want. The training capacity I've, I've increased. Um, mostly for the calves. Obviously T1 calves for the build. Uh, I still got a few things to work on, some, uh, I believe, siege debuffs and ground buff. Uh, now, I have a, uh, we'll go over generals later. Uh, let me join some rallies again. Um, ground is probably my, uh, well, well, we'll go over it in a, in a bit. Um, so I'm ready to go to KE39 and unlock uh, Military Academy 4. So I believe I've got most of my branches done in there, the major branches. So gold and tactical scrolls and, of course, speeds are a big choke point. So I'm a really big believer in doing just enough to unlock your big branches, which is where a lot of your big buffs come from. And um, and saving your gold and speed ups to, to, to get those unlocked. And then eventually go back and do the more important stuff. So one of the more important stuffs for me would be... Uh, since it's a cav defense, I want to buff my calves. Even though it's flat refines, I still want to uh, increase it by percentages, which is most of what this stuff is. So uh, there we go. Increases mount HP uh, when defending. Uh, so besiege is a is a research I would work on. I'm not really a, a boss rally leader here, um, so I'm not too worried about those for now. Um, but uh, these big branches, uh, I'm a, be a believer in, in unlocking. Uh, so same with uh, range. Range um, for research, probably one of the more important ones is when when joining rallies, your attack percentage is up. So here's uh, Annihilation. So it increases range troop attack by 8% when joining Alliance War. And in also increase the HP when defending. So the, the, the first bit of that's the most important. But of course, uh, all this stuff eventually is really good to do. But like I said, uh, uh, I really believe in unlocking the uh, big branches first. So doing the minimum to unlock that. And then, uh, and then going back and slowly doing the research there. As once I said again, uh, gold speeds and tactical scrolls are... Uh, are the choke point. Uh, the only thing I do max out for sure is under Siege. So Siege has Oath, which if you're the Rally Leader you want to do, because that's your Rally Capacity, but mostly for Strike here, which is your increase in March size, which is huge, 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 huge. Um, so I'm a really firm believer in increasing your March size as much as possible, whether you're the Rally Leader, uh, Point Scorer, or Filler. So obviously I can't do number two until I get Military Academy 4, so that'll be a big one. And then strike three doesn't unlock until MA5. So um, as soon as I get MA4, that's definitely the first place I'm going and maximizing that. 
So I maximize the course strike one. Uh, and you can see the rest of this stuff. I've kind of I've kind of left it. I did a few researches just because uh, I wanted to score well in the event and get rewards. Um, so as you spend tactical scrolls, you get to select rewards back. Um, and I hadn't uh, haven't unlocked MA5 yet, and I th believe I have all my branches done before it gets to the next step of MA4. So, so I still wanted some rewards, so I did fill back some of the important ones and just continued on. Um, uh, so, yeah, so I've got everything queued. I am in Arabia. I will change that for battlefields uh, to Russia for defensive mode and also my Monarch talent. So the reason I have it on offering in Arabia is because I always offer 10, 10, uh, 10 times with gems uh, to the offering. So that keeps your prestige high. In which case I have 9 total subs unlocked, the main and ex 8 extra subs. And I keep my tributes handy, I don't uh, dabble those in. I'll, I'll do a power offering uh, once a month if I have 400 or so. Um, offering is important not only for prestige, but most importantly for your monarch increase. Um, so I'm really working on Monarch 39, in which case after that I can kind of slow down or not worry out as much. And the reason uh, Monarch 39 is, you obviously want to get 40 because that will affect all your attack generals and everybody, but 39 is a really sweet spot to get to. Uh, that's because 39 will unlock the ability to get all your duty generals uh, to the super, super duty officer level. Now some... Some, like, I believe, um, yes, so Super Rally Spot Officer. So, uh, Toyo Tommy, uh, he's only level 38, but he's able to get the 1400 attack, 1400 leadership to unlock that, which is really important. Once again, that's March size, both it gives you 70,000 and 30%, plus his ability. So, he's really good. But, uh, for, for your stables, your workshop barracks, academy, uh, sorry, Archer, um, you need that level 39 uh, with with high cultivation to unlock that, as well as Hospital. So Hospital requires that, and I think also the Trap Factory and um, Embassy is 38, which is good, so I've got uh, a leftover Trajan. Uh, and that's to increase my uh, my reinforcement capability. So we uh, we use me as a reinforce. I, I get reinforced and take defenses when I can. Um, uh, but yeah, thirty nine is where I believe six. The uh, the all, all the the troop buildings, uh, your heal building, and another spot. But anyway, that that that's the reason. Uh, obviously, uh, you want Monarch forty. But 39 is a really good goal to aim for. And like I said, it, I, uh, I'm in the Arabia because it gives you a, a bonus. And also the Monarch Talent. So I'll, obviously I'll, I'll swap my Monarch Talent uh, for Battlefields. So that's March Speed and uh, it's a little more orientated to defense and attack. Uh, whereas uh, this is more for... I got the research speed selected, resource production offering bonus. Uh, it's twenty uh, percent. Being in Arabia gives you five more percent, and I believe that's both prestige and monarch experience that it increases. Uh, so I'm usually in this this talent when I do my buildings, my course resource critical, uh, troop training capacity, other 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 things that just just help help increase that uh, when I'm doing that. But I swap over for um, battlefields. Uh, you all probably know that. That's some just basic stuff. Um, so the build. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is uh, just some. Uh, now I'll, I'll show you what's going on. My presets here. So this is just the boss joining one. This one I swapped to Ludwig and Alessandra, which I have here, and I'll explain what this March preset is. Uh, so this preset is unlocked by VIP fifteen, which is another. Uh, good goal to reach. So uh, VIP 15 plus other stuff gets you on six, six March resets. Yeah, six looks like six. 
One, two, three, yeah, six. So six is a really nice number to unlock, and I'll tell you why. Because that's one ground, one archer, one cav, small siege, a.k.a. flats or T11s, big siege, a.k.a. percents and T13s, and then a heal preset. And the reason I chose Ludwig and Alessandra for my preset is just because it's nice to put generals in there. Uh, but mostly because it increases your march size down here, the 2,141,700. So no other pairing I have uh, has a bigger march size total, which means you can adjust it uh, fairly well to uh, to a good preset. So my preset, and I can heal many times, uh, you know, in, in a few seconds, uh, if I need more layers of troops, or just heal once to at least have layers uh, when I get when I get smacked and then uh, heal up uh, troop layers to keep going. Um, so everything's at uh, 37,000. I'll probably adjust it given I have a little bit of room. I've got about roughly a little over 300,000 to, to kind of readjust some things. Uh, but I got archers, calves, and ground set to 37,000, and then siege to 19,000. So that's my heal preset uh, for this little keep. As I go along, and again, uh, this will be my mar uh, ground march preset, and I just adjust it for boss joining, and just joining with one troop. Um, but this I'll set to ten thousand of every troop, uh, and that includes uh, ground, archer, cav, and uh, siege, because uh, at the moment I don't, I have the ground generals, uh, I have a bit of equipment on the go, I do have Norway Ridge uh, Dragon unlocked, but. Um, you know, I have, uh, as a small keep, uh, you have to have priorities and goals in mind. Um, so ground is kind of an afterthought. This is, uh, I use my ground primarily to join with um, with some layers and reinforced if I do get zeroed and then just heal that pre-march and, and pre-rain or rain rather um, with, with, a, with a few troop layers. Um, or I'll even heal my preset. And then uh, reinforce with this preset um, for for if I get zeroed. Um, so the, um, my other presets. So I have Archer. Uh, so I have Electra and Charles, who's great. I, I think I landed at Eleanor, uh, but unfortunately I started working on Charles already with some specs. Uh, and again, on a budget keep, uh, as soon as you start doing specs, it's very difficult to change it up. And really to change it up versus what you spent in gems and runestones. Uh, you know that extra 10% on events or 30% even is... You've got to really weigh that out. Uh, and it's it's difficult to change things once you start. Um, I'll probably change Martinez as a assistant to Hannibal. Uh, again, I've already started Hannibal... Uh, not only specs, but also one thing of ascension. So he's a one star, I believe, but we'll have a look at my generals later. If I were to redo this, again, I am not the rally leader. Um, so I think uh, with ascension that Roland is actually the best. Um, so Roland's easy to get. He's both in the tavern and in uh, relic tiles. And his third star ascension, instead of rally capacity is March size. So going back to a point I was talking about, I believe uh, for fillers and even rally setters, March size is huge. So March size means more troops. It means more troops mean typically more points that you're scoring uh, because you'll have more troops doing damage. The more damage you do, the more points you're scoring in battlefield and so forth, better you can reinforce. Uh, more layers you can adjust in there. March size is a huge, huge, huge thing. So I'm, I'm pro March size. Um, so I would recommend Roland um, if I were to go back. I may even swap to Roland, um, even though I've got uh, Hannibal at one star. I may abandon that and use him as an assistant to Roland, which I believe he's able to, so that the specs don't go to waste and uh, just work on March size. Uh, so the, here's my uh, current small siege setup. So it's Patronus with Matthias uh, as an assistant. And I'll talk about Matthias in a bit. He's in the tavern, and I think he's really, really good. And we'll go over that, mostly because he's got March size built in his skill. Uh, I chose Grant as my big siege uh, general. And again, that's, um, as you may have guessed, um, just accessibility to, um, 
uh, to, to uh, fragments. Uh, so he's in the tavern, he's easily accessible. Uh, Blood of Ares is very hard to come by on a budget keep, unless you're spending, spending, spending. Uh, there are a few tricks which I may discuss in a future video about that. Um, but I, I chose him as my big siege. I am using the beast on him, mostly because beast gives percentages. And I only have maybe one or two marches of big siege. And I'm mostly working on T11 with flats. So my Fafnir is uh, refined for flat siege attack buff. Um, and I don't have Nidhogg, so I'm using the bird on uh, Hannibal instead of Fafnir. Um, so... If I if I were to have a super wish, if I were to um, have two more dragons, uh, I would either go for Nidhogg, 1 or 3, which would be very difficult. I, I may aim for it eventually, uh, but at 4.2 billion, it, it's tough unless I save up lots of heal speeds. I get a march of ground actually refined. Uh, I may have to invest a little bit more to do that. Uh, but either Nidhogg or the All-Stars Dragon Ziz. So... Asking for an all-star dragon with my keep size is also asking for a lot. And if I were to choose one all-star dragon before Ziz or Laidon or um, any of the others, I would go Kolshan uh, for Big Siege. Um, big Siege. Uh, yeah, big my, for my Big Siege uh, general, so A.K. Grant. Um... So I'm stuck with four dragons. Uh, like I said, it's it's a keep on a budget, and you just work with what you got. And uh, I do use Notepad to write down things I'm working on and what's next. So I keep track of my goals and stay goal oriented and focused. And that that has me uh, keeps me uh, uh, invested, as it were, engaged in in building my keep and uh, keep progress going. Um, so having a look at the generals, another I guess the uh, the thing we haven't looked at yet is uh, subs. So I will start with subs and talk about that a bit. Uh, so I'm, I'm in Arabia culture, and again I will swap that for battlefields to Russia. So I'm I am a defensive side keep, which historically and since K40 defense is uh, is uh, well it's a little bit broken with the march sizes, the buffs. And all that, but I still, I still aim for, I still went with the uh, defensive keep. So I'm hoping to get another purple or epic Russia to replace the blue. But I got all rushes. I got a nice little mix here. I got uh, four legendaries, and actually I've got three epics. And then my main is a is a purple as well. So uh, I, I did increase it to purple. Going to epic on your main sub is a lot of gems, and again, it, it, it it's that priority. Um, gems are, for me, are better spent in offering and refining, uh, which costs a lot when it comes to Civ gear and when you've got five presets of uh, generals to work on, uh, including dragons. Um, so having a look at that, uh, just have a look at the refines here. So uh, range attack, and again, uh, I'll probably replace that range HP with an attack if I can. It's a decent enough roll for now that I left it. Um, and again, yeah, I did Siege Flat Refines on Fafnir. No Ridge. I i don't even know if I want to show you this. It's pretty sad. I, I don't have any refines on it. And I should work on that. Uh, Thebes I have unlocked. Uh, and that's what I use on my Defensive General. Uh, I did refine it for all Mount Flat Attack. Um... And I would have to say that's probably a mistake from what I've read and what other people have shared. They've gone uh, Mount HP flat refines. And uh, so if I could take it back, I would. I would go probably Mount HP or if a really good roll in either Mount Attack or HP came up, I would lock that in and keep going. But I, I believe um, probably the better, better way to go is Mount HP if you want to min-max. Uh, for that, so I've I was very strong on uh, maxing my offensive defense, as it were. But um, again, it's the resources and all that that um, it, it's too costly to change it right now. I may in the future, um, but uh, that's where that's at uh, right now. Uh, I should note for the shrine, obviously I have it at, uh, actually I got it at 36. 
Um, so 36 gives you a little bit of uh, extra battlefield buff. And again, it's those, uh, it's a little bit 5%. So it's those 5, 10% that you can increase um, everywhere you can. Same with uh, the Art Hall. Um, so I have everything unlocked that's reasonably to unlock. Obviously, BOG Ring, um, the uh, Ring of Fafnir, that's, you know, Purple Wings. I, I am probably on this keep never going to be able to unlock that. Uh, but everything else I do, and it's nice to, to slowly upgrade that. So I'm halfway to getting to attribute level 4. Uh, so it's a grind. Uh, there's a lot of grinding, a lot of uh, gamer sweat that goes uh, into a low budget keep. So obviously I don't have um, a lot of these generals. And I'm probably missing quite a few from General Hall 2. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, quite a few. Uh, that I'm missing. That's just uh, the 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 gaps here are, are far too high to chase it uh, at this time. So, um, so talking about generals, uh, sub generals. So um, I got lucky. Uh, I did spend a little money during, I believe, one of the anniversary events. Um, I bought some hundred dollar packs. I uh, got some gems, some refine zones, some you know some RSSS. Um, and I've gotten lucky with a Baldwin. Um, so uh, two Barbarian Kings and a Baldwin. Uh, so as, as a T1 Cav defense, um, you, want, <laughs> you want a solo ground march coming at you because it's going to get annihilated. Uh, a rally is probably also not going to do very good. And um, so I'm not hugely concerned about... Um, Ground debuff, uh, siege debuff um, for a small keep. Um, most pieces have some siege debuff built in, and um, it, it's very difficult to, to min max that. They may not. They may. I, I have been sieged before, and it hurt. Obviously, it's going to attack my siege, and it's probably going to take out my range if I don't get out of the way, or if I don't have. Uh, you know, uh, reinforcements to, to to take care of that. The two main things, if people know that I am a T1 cav defense, is range attack and mount attack. So those are the big two rallies that will come at you. So obviously Barbarian King and Baldwin are range attack reduction heavy, uh, which I like. Um, so they're both good for that. And I really recommend all Andrew Jacksons on a budget keep. Um... If you can get others, that's great. Um, but uh, Andrew Jackson's in the tavern. Um, he has a nice. Uh, he has the snipe ability, which for a few uh, runestone um, pieces, you can increase your attack to all troops for a little bit. I haven't done them all. Uh, yeah, so I got a blue and two purples, and I got Baldwin started uh, for some attack debuff. And I don't want to do that in case I do get another Barbarian King or something that will replace Andrew Jackson. But he's really good because he reduces ranged troop attacks. It's only 20% versus um, uh, Baldwin and Barbarian King's higher uh, range attack debuff. Uh, but he also has mount HP reduction, which is really good. Uh, so again, um, not only do you want to uh, decrease, obviously, uh, range and mount attack, but you want to re reduce the... Uh, defense and HP of those troop types because uh, those will be most common uh, So for gear, uh, I have a couple of the unlocked spiritual beasts, which I have them attached to my uh, sub generals and I do Recommend there's basically only a few variations of uh, Sorry, Akamenide gear that you want to do so I really believe in mostly courageous and the axe so the axe is really good because it reduces range HP and ground HP. So uh, ground could still be a issue. Uh, so you, you don't want to ignore debuff on there, but um, focus is uh, range and mount attacks. Uh, there's only one piece of um, ac armor you ever want to craft for debuff, and that's the courageous uh, because it's siege machine attack and mounted defense. I believe the fearless only gives the siege attack. And then gives different buffs instead of debuffs. And same with the boots. Um, it's siege attack and mount attack. And the fearless is either just the mount attack or just the siege attack. So the only two you'd want for armor and boots is the courageous. The helm is optional. 
Um, I, I chose mostly Fearless because it does have the mount attack debuff. The Courageous is uh, the ground, uh, ground HP and defense buff. But again, I'm not overly... I, it's not that I don't want to uh, debuff ground um, and have more of it. It's um, being a little selective because there are only so many pieces I can choose from and I'm trying to uh, optimize there and I believe ground uh, is is uh, used to be king when T15s first unlocked and people didn't do T1 calves and then uh, people were getting one shotted like one two billion keeps no problem even two and a half bill in the early uh, you know about a year ago um, but people got wised up they uh, they did a T1 cav defense and I noticed in a Chalons, uh, Chalons, Chalons, um, where I was, you know, soling out a, an 800 million power keep or even 500 million. And, you know, I had a preset of T15s, T14, good ground march with a fully ascended Elise. And I was getting my ass handed to me. And the, the, pow the power trade was like, you know, 450 million to like 100 million. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, okay. I'll hit him again, and it should clear him out. Maybe he had a bunch of calves in his keep that I didn't scout. And I got pwned again, and this guy just kept healing layers. And I keep I kept splatting. I must have splatted on this one guy I'm thinking of, like, a million times. Obviously, this is on a uh, different keep. So for uh, the, um, the legs, you can either, once again, go Courageous or Fearless. Uh, the Courageous I went with, again, for the Mount Attack debuff. Uh, the Fearless gives you range defense debuff, so uh, that's where you could go a couple pairs of legs with uh, Courageous. And the ring, there is only one ring you should be fucking crafting on your fucking debuff gear, and it is the fucking Courageous Akamenide ring because it has the fucking range attack debuff. Do not craft any other fucking Courageous Ack Ring but the Courageous Ack Ring. Do not do the Fearless. The Fearless is, I believe it is also ground, HP, and defense debuff. Do not fucking craft that. I will slap your tits if you do. Courageous Ack Ring is the only one to craft, okay? I'm going to join some rallies and I'll come back to troops. No rallies up. Okay, great. So that's what most of my gear is. But I do have a couple... Civ pieces on my Barbarian Kings. So the first Barbarian King, and he's a little bit different setup, and we can see that I only actually have two Akamenide pieces. So once again, it's the Courageous Ack, and I've got the Courageous Legs, uh, sorry, Courageous Boots, because those are the only ones you want to craft between those two pieces. So that's the Siege and Mount attack and your Range attack. But what are these uh, two Civ pieces, the Helm and the Legs? So the Helm is, uh, is decent. Um, so again, I, I spent, I, I spent double coupons, got two $100 packs, which unlocks the stupid cake, which gets you the stupid fucking sieve piece. And I chose one of these as my sieve piece. And that's for the ground attack. Uh, cause they could come in for a clear. They could rally. Uh, I could be hurt. Uh, maybe a range attack comes in and a lot of my team one cav is cleared. Uh, so I, I do want a little bit of debuff. It does give ground and also mounted troop defense debuff. So that's why I, I really like this one, uh, mostly uh, for the mounted defense. The legs are really good. So the reg, leg, regs, the legs are range and siege attack debuff. Okay, so that's more range attack debuff, and it's also range troop defense debuff, along with range troop and siege HP debuff. So these legs are stacked. Uh, really good debuff piece. Um, that's why I use it. Now over here we've got two Ares pieces. And why am I using those instead of some Akamenide gear? Um, well first of all the set gets busted up. So we don't have the six piece uh, set no longer with the Civ pieces. So we lose the six out of six enemy troop de uh, attack debuff. So the first thing is, is I'm using the Ares sword uh, for debuff on mounted uh, troop HP. So that's really nice for that because um, it's really hard to find mounted troop HP debuff on any act gear, uh, which I don't think it exists if I recall correctly. Um, now, my Andrew Jackson's give me a little bit of um, cab HP debuff, but then the Aries Sword gives me that as well uh, instead of the axe. So I kind of balance it out a little bit to add there. Now, uh, kind of a un little unknown secret is the Ares chest piece. 
and the Aries chess piece, if you got a busted uh, Achaemenidae uh, set, is that it's another range attack debuff and siege machine attack debuff. So obviously the range attack is what I'm going for. Uh, so that's really good. So although I've busted up my six piece gear for all troop attack, again, I'm really focused on range troop attack debuff and mount attack debuff while trying to find sources of HP and defense for those two troop types as well to debuff. But, but primarily I want to try to hit that attack so though I lose the 15%, I still keep the 40% the ring. I gain 30% range attack debuff with the legs and another 30% um, with the chest. So I've lost 15% all troop attacks, but I've gained net 45% reduction in range troop attack, which I think is really worth the sacrifice here for these pieces. So the other second Barbarian, again, I have a sword in the Ares. It'll be the same thing, Mounted Troop HP, and the one with the Range Troop and Siege Machine Attack. And I have the Fearless uh, Helmet, which is the Mounted Troop Attack uh, debuff. Again, a Courageous Ring, Courageous Boots, and the Fur Kazan Legs, which, again, uh, is primarily the Siege Attack debuff. I'm, I'm not too hyped about that but um what i've got is a range troop attack of 20 percent uh, so between that and the chest is 50 percent i lose the 15 so i'm net uh 35 percent up on range troop attack and then i also gain a little bit of mounted troop attack debuff um yeah again it's a full set here six out of six to give me the 15 percent um for skill books um uh, there's only three skill books, in my opinion, that you should use, and thankfully I've, I've worked really hard uh, in giving them all the same amount. Uh, so that's Troop Training Capacity, Troop Training Speed, and Rebirth, the Survival Rate, which I think is really, really good. Uh, so as a defensive keep that sometimes and usually gets zeroed in Battlefield, so I'm a Rally Filler, and we try to score some points with me defending. Um, it's really imperative uh, to um, have that troop survival uh, rebuild. Otherwise, I'm going to be spending gems. And you can't selectively, as far as I know, spend to just uh, heal a few troops. You either do all of them or none of them, uh, which I don't like. So let's have a look at this. So it would cost me 35,000 gems to do my main sub. And that's a lot. I, I don't have that many gems, and especially I don't want to spend that many gems if I'm going to get smacked and zeroed every battlefield. Uh, so the best I got is troops. Yeah, there you go. So it shows I can't reduce this. So if I could train 20 troops at a time, okay, that's different, but I, I don't want to spend the gems. So um, troop survival and troop training speed and the capacity of it is uh, important to me. But I'm working on... And it, this goes back to the um, which uh, which research IQ until I do a big research day on a consumption day is the uh, the training speed right now. Um, so that's uh, important to me. Uh, so the other the other ones. So yeah. So I got two barbarian kings, a bald one I lucked out on, and then um, six Andrew Jacksons. I do have Nero's, but I use them for a different purpose. Um, Nero's really great. I recommend it for big, big, big keeps and even big spenders. Um, so he's, um, fairly easy to get in the tavern and he's really good if you fully ascend him and even do some of his specs. Um, so it's that enemy troop HP that's really good. So HP of, it's really, there are a lot of sources for both, for all, all troop type attacks to reduce. But then, as a big keep, a rally setter, um, all-star player, um, troop HP and troop defense becomes tougher to find. So we can see that, um, um, and, and for all troop types, especially Siege when it comes to HP and defense. Um, so we can see that Nero is a really good all-rounder. It's enemy troop HP, HP, defense, attack, and defense again. His specs are, if we look, I believe HP reduction. Nope, my bad. Defense. And then uh, a generic HP. So he's really good all-rounder. He's available in the tavern. Very easy to ascend fully. Um, 
uh, why I don't do that on this account, again, um, the biggest restrictions uh, for a low spender, uh, and at least in my position, is runestones, gems, gold, and um, of course blood of Ares. Um, but of course especially blood of Ares and um, runestones. Those are very, very precious. Um, so picking and choosing where to spend those uh, is in high consideration everything. So I don't have any current plans to ascend my subgens right now. Um, so mostly working off the gear I've crafted and the ones I've selected. If I get a better subgeneral, I may swap out. I may ascend an Andrew Jackson, um, but he's not really super, super good. Like a five-star Andrew Jackson would be OP. He eventually gets some serious range attack debuff. Um, but again, he's got a lot of, uh, ground debuff, which I'm, I'm not worried as a T1 cab defense build too much. Again, uh, any, any, any rally and, and, and troop type is, is, can impact, but it's just, uh, as an initial smack, I'm, I, uh, I have bigger fish to, to worry about. And that, again, that's primarily, um, range amount that'll, uh, clear me out. So that's why I'm not hyper-focused on those. Um... But anyway, um, yeah, I, I do recommend Nero uh, as an alternative, um, if uh, and, and and ascending him, uh, his ascensions are really really good, uh, and he's very available. Uh, Baldwin ascension is really good, but again, I, I don't think I'm going to grab too many more tokens, uh, and if I did grab more tokens, I would rather use Baldwin straight up instead of an Andrew Jackson. But I may ascend him. I'll have to decide, but. I'm not counting on getting another Baldwin, uh, maybe another Barbarian King, but a doubtful. But again, he's pretty decent in the first couple ascensions. You don't have to fully ascend him, although fully ascended, he's awesome. But even one or two stars, he's uh, he's really good. Uh, so that's what makes Barbarian Barbarian Kings really good for budget and and big keeps really. Um, so my attack generals, uh, duty generals. On uh, you know what? I'll go over duty generals first. So I have uh, ascended, and again, it's really nice to at least get one or two stars on some of your generals. That's easy to do. It's easy to find copies, especially um, since I've got all the generics instead of the special ones. Again, availability in the tavern. Um, uh, so accessibility is really important. Obviously, the special ones are better. Um, but how much money you want to spend um, becomes a factor so again, low budget, um, these ones serve the purpose, they give some nice buffs. Uh, I've focused on the ones, now I have copies of some of these other generals I haven't even ascended yet. But I've focused on ones that give all troop types uh, a buff, or ones that are geared towards cav and ground, which is primarily my defense. So again, it's T1 flat calves mostly, but... Um, you know, every bit counts, even the percentages towards that. But also ground against Archer. Uh, so that's why I like that. Uh, so I've slowly uh, uh, done these one at a time here. So that's, yeah, Toyo is really good there. He gives all troops there. Uh, so for military, so um, uh, so my um, my wall gens are Boudicca. And again, you've probably seen videos on this. Boudicca is very easy in the tavern. She's very cav friendly. And uh, I got George Dewey, formerly, uh, I don't know what the fuck, jo jo Joseph E. Johnson. They changed that stuff. Um, and again, this, I've worked on their specs a little bit uh, on Dewey. And then, of course, Boudicca, I don't plan to change. So here's my Boudicca. Uh, I've got her to a, uh, that's a brown spec on the last one. So it's a nice debuff. Um... Uh, I've got her to 3 star. 3 star is very nice. Uh, it only requires 7 total copies of her. Uh, I will eventually work on a 4th and hopefully one day a 5th star. Uh, as she's you know, my main defense general. She's of course equipped the thieves which we saw was cav uh, flat defense. Uh, so here we see something interesting. So as a budget keep I would recommend um, all act gear. Uh, a complete set of act gear on your defense general. Um, I wouldn't recommend the Ares because I was thinking Ares, attack and troops attack. I don't believe that uh, applies to defending troops. Um, so that's why I would go all Ak here as well. So I went the Ares mostly because there's not a very good um, 
if I recall correctly when choosing these pieces, there wasn't very good options for legs and uh, chest for uh, mounted troops. So it was very mounted troop focused, um, which still helps, um, but uh, that's why I went that way. Um, now, the three most important sieve pieces that you can get, especially if you're budget, uh, which I only have, I'll come back to this, I only have, I believe, nine pieces of sieve gear with only a couple fragments and possibilities. Oh, I got 11. Okay, my bad, I'm a filthy corner uh, on this keep. So, where are we at? I almost have another conquest piece, and I could probably use it to build a few more of these pieces. And I, I'm being very cautious, because again, spending is, is frugal. And I gotta pick and choose uh, what I do. I probably want to go actually with a um, the Freedom Star from a Cav General, um, and I don't have any fragments whatsoever of that. So that's I think what I'm holding out for. Uh, the Supremacy, uh, obviously, I would like to get the bow, um, but uh, I haven't uh, got more of those yet. So it's a work in progress. We'll see how greedy fucking Ebony gets with getting more pieces in the future. So let's go back to Boudicca. So uh, the three most important Civ pieces, if you only get three, are the Abbas Bracers. And I'll skip ahead and come back once again. The Coral Bracers, cor Coral. And you can probably guess what the next one is. Where the fuck is he? Where is this cocksucker? Patronus. Okay, and the high embracers. Now you probably noticed that the three things all those have in common are the siege machine range attack range. So I really believe in siege att machine attack range buff. Um, now you might be thinking I got some things ass backwards. Why am I using the Avis bracers on my defense general and the Corio bracers on my fucking siege machine big uh, big siege guy and and more importantly why the fuck do i have the two like the, the this two piece set doesn't give me anything and that is a good two piece bonus i agree um when i built this though um i had only got the abbas bracers and i was like okay if i only get one piece i'm going with abbas bracers and i refined it as you can see for the mount attack of flats and i chose this piece on my defense general primarily for the debuff so we got ground attack debuff and mount attack debuff siege machine hp which is huge and very difficult to find and get but also the enemy range troop defense debuff now the other two pieces i believe offer a bit of debuff but uh nothing in compared to this one and i was really wanting to get the siege machine attack even though i'm not primarily a siege machine defense I still want that range track because uh, I, uh, well, I really believe in the mechanics of it. Uh, so that's what the way I went in there. And I will get to the other generals and explain why I chose those pieces for those particular ones. But as you can see, nothing special. Um, most of my refines are pretty decent. Uh, I did hold out very hard for all premium uh, refines. I believe there's a couple that I would like to bump up. Like uh, the this dismounted troop. But again, it's a sieve piece, so, I mean, what the hell's the refine on that? That's 8k per refine, and again, it's a budget keep. So, it's a higher orange, so it's, again, prioritizing. I have it on a list of things to do, but it is on a thing a list of things to do later, <laughs> before I get some other things done. Otherwise, um, uh, there's a couple others that could probably be bumped. I think those are both orange. Okay, one orange and a low yellow. Um, so flats, there's some flats. There's my defense flats and defense flats. So for skill books, again, I really believe in both range and speed on uh, defense and your attack generals. Um, so obviously as a defense general, I want to increase all my range and my speed as much as possible. Um, I think there'll be other videos. I think... Uh, there's other videos out there that'll explain some of the battle mechanics more. Uh, some people are pro it, some people are like, meh, it does nothing. I think it does, and I don't think there's, I feel, too many other skill book choices that could uh, top it. So on Boudicca, I've got ground speed, mount speed, 
mount HP. And on Dewey, I've got ground attack, uh, uh, range troop bonus, and siege machine range bonus. Uh, so that's the way I went. So I have all four speed slash range books. I've increased my ground troop attack because, um, well, especially po uh, against uh, range rallies, uh, your ground's going to kick in. So I believe a little buff there. And then just uh, buffing up my, my mount HP. Uh, so my Electra, Electra is my main. Uh, again, I don't have the sword. Um, so I'm using three Ares pieces, which does uh, affect my uh, attacking troop buff. So, and then the two um, Act pieces, which give you 10%. And again, uh, you know, somebody, a player that's got all planet, planet gear with Abyss... Uh, uh, Helm, and I think there's a different boot, you know, they can min-max that, but on a budget, uh, this is really good, and every 10 or 15% you can find and squeeze is fantastic. Um, her speciality is almost done, um, fingers crossed, uh, obviously wait till I get some lucky crystals and work on it that way, I don't, uh, I could finish it off, but I don't want to. Uh, the Civ Ring, again, um, very expensive to refine, I'm doing my best. Um, so that's a work in progress. Same with any of this other stuff. So I use the Fear of the Sound for the range attack. And uh, there's some other nice bonuses in there, but it's primarily for the range attack. The Courageous Accolades, again, for range attack. Um, the Planet Ring, obviously, for the range attack, but also March Size, to reiterate that. Um, Ares Bow. Um, I think, yeah, it gives a, a better buff to your range attack. Curry's Chest, which is range HP, and the Fearless Act Boots, which is range HP. And again, those refines are horrible overall. Actually, my Aries bow was pretty decent, but the rest of this stuff is shit. And it's primarily uh, gems and refine stones that are the choke point here. So bit by bit, uh, range it out again. I'm a filler. Um, you know, I'm not a rally setter. I, uh, I, you know, I fill rallies. I help my team get points that way. Patronus is my T11 uh, siege, so I've started some specs here. Primarily here we got uh, Siege Machine Attack, Siege Machine Range, which is absolute, and Siege Machine HP. Uh, my assistants will usually be Siege Defense, March Size, and I believe March Speed. Um, so I've got two pieces of sieve on him. I've got two high end. Uh, so the helm and the bracers, so obviously the bracers for that uh, machine, siege machine attack range. The percentages aren't going to help hugely just because obviously this is for T11, but it still counts. Um, and again, I've got the two pieces of vac gear, this is, which is why I went this way. And then two pieces of Ares for that percentage, which still does buff your T11s, even though you're going for flats. Uh, so again, it's min-maxing where you can. And obviously my refines are not complete whatsoever. It's working on things a bit by bit. And um, uh, you'll know Siege, uh, uh, Sing's Siege video. Um, you know, work on your attack refines first. Then your uh, HP and then defense, especially for Siege. Um, so yeah, these are all the pieces for that. Um... Uh, we'll come to Ludwig. So again, uh, it's not bona fide. Uh, I believe I want to. Um, I haven't even refined this that much or at all, rather. Uh, and I'm I'm looking at using one of the Civ pieces. Uh, this one I like the best because it's defense buff and also March size. Once again, the Fearless Ring. But yeah, I'd much rather have a Civ piece. So uh, I may do a Civ piece for that. And again, as you can see, I've got at least three Act pieces, which uh, give me the the uh, two piece bonus. And two pieces of Ares. So we got ground attack and ground HP on the courageous Ares helm. And the fear of this there, that's for the defense and HP buff. And of course the two piece bonus. Uh, but none of this stuff's refined whatsoever. Um, and uh, so that's why also I don't really have a ground march preset. Because it's just going to splat probably. So it's mostly to join with layers. And sometimes I, my assistant uh, with Ludwig is either Alessandra, which again is March and all that stuff, or sometimes I use Napoleon. 
So that March preset going back, if you recall, is 10,000 of every troop. So that includes range, siege, and mount in a mostly ground March preset. So that's why, again, I use the range bonus, the siege bonus, and also the mount troop speed. And Ludwig should have the ground speed as one of the main books. So there it is there. So then, but then if I use Alessandra, I should have, yeah, ground defense, march, and march speed. So sometimes I pair it with Napoleon just to buff the other troops and give them better range. Uh, so that's what I have there. Um, but again, grounds, my ground is, my ground game is... <laughs> So here's my big siege. So I don't have any big siege pieces. Um, and this is, uh, so Grant's got two choreo, which is the defensive pieces. So in hindsight, I may have chosen to use these two pieces on my defense general. Uh, but I didn't do it that way. Uh, the reason I chose these pieces, the choreo, obviously, I, there's only three civ pieces with, which have siege machine attack range. So one of them is going to be for your defense, one of them is going to be for your T11 siege, and one of them is going to be for your big siege. So I chose the Abyss on defense for the debuff um, purposes. So uh, I chose this piece for big siege because of the uh, siege machine attack bonus. Uh, and yes, the boots here are the only small piece boots uh, you can select. It's a, it, it ends up being a... Um, not the supremacy, but the uh, whatever the the small sieve gear. So most small sieve gear is your helm, your legs, and your your bracers. Your big quote unquote pieces are your weapon, your armor, and your leg or boots. Typically, Corio set is the only set where the boots count as a small piece. The weapon and the chest are still big pieces, and I believe sorry sorry. I think the legs are the, the big piece in that set. They swapped it out, which is really good to move pieces around in order to unlock your Victory Call 1 if you need be, if you don't have your dragons up and so forth. Uh, but yeah, I did it for the Siege Machine HP percentage and the Siege Machine Attack percentage, um, which really equates to actually really good bonuses, again on a budget, um, for your big big Siege Machine. It also allows me to still use the Ack legs and chest, which also give you a two-piece set bonus, but it also gives me the two-piece Ares set bonus. Again, you got Siege Machine attack, attack with the Furies Ares helmet and the Ares Axe. So that's why this set actually works fairly well on a budget. Take a shot every time I say that. Um, together. Uh, but again, working on refines, it's, uh, it's difficult. Uh, so I'm getting there. The axe is looking decent. Um, you know what the brace is? I got a couple good refines there. Obviously, uh, I could replace that 20 and then hopefully roll another high one. And then this stuff's coming along too. Um, it's very expensive to refine, obviously. But a little bit at a time, setting goals. So here's my, uh, my calf. Again, uh... So I don't have a uh, two-piece bonus with Ack here, and it's also probably why I would replace the ring, and I'm waiting to. I don't even think I've refined this. Yeah, I basically haven't. It's the reason why I would re um, cho choose the uh, Freedom Star probably next. It's probably the, the next Civ Gear piece I will, uh, I will uh, craft and then start refining that. Uh, so that leaves me with uh, two Planet Genet uh, pieces, which do does give you a uh, attack bonus. The boots are really good for marching mount troop attack and all troop HP. Um, I still got an Ares bonus, so the spear is much better than the axe spear. Uh, mostly because I believe it gives the marching buffs there, both the defense and HP, whereas the axe sphere uh, gives the mount the same mounted troop attack bonus the 45 percent but then gives you only um the march speed to monsters and debuff so i'd much rather have the buff in this case especially on the percentages and the the, ch the courageous aries chest is really great uh, uh gives you buffs on all three stats and again we got mo uh, mounted troop with the fearless aries legs and the two-piece bonus um so yeah, he's one star. Uh, again, I'd probably go with Roland. And I believe Hannibal and Roland work together. So the speci specialities aren't in vain. 
Um, but the Ascension would be, unfortunately, if I made him my assistant general to Roland. Uh, and, and we'll look at Roland in the tavern and uh, show, show you why. So Alessandro is an assistant. Uh, Charles is an assistant. Uh, with six skill books, um, I go range, HP, because uh, Electra will be attack, range, and defense. Where the fuck did I do the defense on her? I might have been limited on skill books, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, but yeah, I do march size, HP, and then just the range, uh, siege range bonus, just to add uh, a little bit of buff to the siege in that attack, because Electra does have some buffs to siege. Uh, I don't know if it ends up doing anything. Zuka or Zaka rhymes with Fucka. Um, again, that'll be Siege Machine of Defense, the March size, which is OP, and March Speed. So March Speed, joining rallies and all that. And again, I, I don't really feel that another skill book uh, would be more overpowered for that uh, in in that in the position. I really believe in March Speed. Uh, not that it affects the battle mechanics, but getting into rallies uh, uh, faster, uh, just a little bit faster, is good. And March size, March size, March size, March size, March size. So Napoleon, I mentioned earlier, I usually couple him uh, instead of Alessandra for my um, troop layer uh, preset and uh, buff all troop types. Now Matthias is my assistant to uh, Patronus, I believe we saw. It was uh, Grant and Zuka. I gained Zuka. Th those two together are really good for the siege uh, buffs. And then Patronus and Matthias. Matthias is available in the tavern, and I really like him because he does give buffs to both range and siege, primarily siege in this case I'm looking at. But that March size 5% is really good, and he still can take the skill book. So it's that little bit of extra couple troops that you can add. Um, typically 5% is roughly anywhere from 30 to 50,000 more troops, um, which is really nice. Uh, and again, March speed and the siege machine defense. Martinus, like I said, is, is going to be replaced. I may use Septimus. Um, I can't remember if he does pair with anybody. Um, I think Zuckus, Zuckus is a bit better with Grant. Yeah, so he's got more Siege Machine attack and range troop and Siege Machine HP. So he's a little bit better than Septimus there. Uh, which is probably why I'm not using him. I don't want to get rid of him yet. And, but again, it's very difficult on a budget. Take a shot. Um, because I'm not going to get extra copies of these fuckers to send them, so it's very pick and choose. Um, yeah, it's just some extra generals here. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to use. I may use Leonidas with Boudicca. I may use Leo the Third, but again, I'm not super focused on siege machines. So, but mostly ground and, and mount. Um, but I'm keeping them around. I don't want to sell them for gold, even though it's a choke point. I may get rid of these Alfreds because fuck him. Same with. Same as some of these other trash assholes. Um, so that's primarily my generals in the gear at this point. Um, let's join some rallies. Forgive my dis here down there. That's great. That's just fucking great. Hey, wait a minute. Put something there. There we go. Oh, that looks great. Uh, gear, yeah, I got level 8. Um, obviously, I'm working on level 9. Should be getting closer-ish. So, yeah, I think for most of these I have 2, so I'm almost up for grade. So, yeah, tier 9 is, is fairly decent. Um... I keep feeding my dragons daily, so another thing too, when you're not crafting, once once you have all your debuff gear crafted, and you have um, the bulk of your um, generals uh, geared up, so the only thing, like I said, is probably one of the ground braces or shields, and the freedom star for mount, and maybe one day the bow for um, Electra. Which I'm not in a super hurry for it, just because I, I did work hard on the refines on the Ares bow. Uh, so if I don't get it for a while, I'm, I'm, I'm not crying, but a two-piece bonus there would be good because I've only got the ring. So yeah, the bow would be, would be really good. Um, my prime focus right now is to get to K39 and unlock uh, MA4 four which is where a lot of my buffs are going to come from with those big branches and again going back to that principle and theory is that 
you know the big branches give you a lot of attack uh, buffs there, um, and 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 uh, and that's where you can really unlock some some extra percentages from there. Um, what else can we talk about? Let's talk about the actual troops. Uh, so for troops, uh, I think from the recent battle, I've I've really uh, I gotta ghost my chaos. Um, so I often do get range rallied, and uh, I I can take a smack. I get rains, uh, usually ground rains. So that's where a mounted uh, rally on me is uh, probably more effective. Um, but I still probably want to ghost my calves so I, I can unghost them and then join cav rally, which is uh, obviously important in uh, battlefields. Um, but I've got oops, fuck get out of that. Uh, so I got quite a bit of ground. I've got quite a bit of archer upper tiers T uh, thirteen, um, and again for T fourteen and T twelve on the siege, I've got a little bit less of them, and that's just mostly to join join with um, you know fifty to a hundred thousand. And then primarily bulk up my my marches with uh, the T13 and T11. Uh, they're obviously cheaper to train than the T12, T14 counterparts, and still do uh, a good amount of damage. Uh, so T11s I'm working on. For most of my troop layers, um, I've got a little more extra ground, and aiming for about a million. Um, and again, it's all bit by bit, but I have roughly a million of each tier, each troop. And then obviously in the lower tiers, uh, I've kind of increased, not kind of, I have, uh, bulked up a little bit on my calves. So those uh, flat refines are hopefully helping. And I've got 555 million uh, T1 calves. So a nice, nice amount. Uh, obviously, I'd like to get to a billion. So in time, uh, I will do that and hopefully be able to take a couple more smacks. Uh, so that's where that's at. Um, what else here? Sorry, joining rallies, joining rallies. I'm a whore for gold. So as you can see, yeah, I got less than a billion gold. And that's to cover, you know, normal research, MA research, refines, um, buying generals in the tavern as need be. Um, so yeah, gold, gold is a choke point. Uh, just some overview, yeah. So I uh, I hoard my my speeds. I'm keeping my speeds. I'm saving up my construction speeds for the next uh, speed up uh, event um, uh, after a QK39. And yeah, I've got uh, some leftover materials, which, like I said, my dragons uh, end up gobbling up. And some leftover recipes as needed. Craft different pieces of gear. Um, again, Blood of Aries, I'm very limited on. Rune Stones, I've got to pick and choose where to use. Um, yeah, there there you can see uh, halfway to uh, the next point. That's Ring of Fafnir, so obviously that's I got more of extra of that. And same with the Trojan Horse. Which Trojan Horse needs? What the hell do I need for that? Yeah, I got the main main unlock, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, Trojan. Yeah, it's this bullshit. Okay, so there's no fucking looking unlocking that. Uh, so yeah, research priorities. Uh, obviously defensive, and you guys seen this in other videos. Uh, is uh, is these guys? This is uh, yeah, your sub uh, your city defense and HP. Obviously, you want to unlock all this stuff for your march sizes, your buffs, medical. Again, uh, I heal quite a bit in battlefields. Uh, and I'm not talking full heals or anything like that, but uh, healing marches. Uh, but mostly healing layers is the big thing. But healing marches as need be. Again, I'm a filler. Um, I'm not going to be, you know, 30 billion, KE40, all T15s unlock. So I do have the liberty of, of spending speeds on, on Battlefield and, and helping my team, uh, which is primarily my, my fun and focus and goal in, um, in, this, in, in, in this little keep. Uh, so I do have all my medical stuff done. Alliance, so I'm not reinforcing too much, but I think once I get maybe uh, training speed unlocked in the subsidy category, I'll probably uh, start chipping away at... Um, Reinforcement capacity, but also um, some uh, reinforcing buffs. 
uh, which I've got quite a bit of it done, the early pieces, uh, but then in the latter I don't, and, and they, they do start to get fairly expensive in gold and speeds, um, which is why I'm not focused on them just yet, but I will get to them in time. And again, kind of finishing off some of my debuff. Uh, so it'd be nice to grab that Siege Machine range debuff. Obviously my ground debuff in time. Um, I do have the HP unlocked. And yeah, the uh, Siege defense. Uh, so forth. Okay. Uh, but yeah, my focus is to get MA4 cooking. And KE39 is a really great goal to reach. Getting your rally spot 39 up and MA4 unlocked, and I think MA4 really offers, uh, there's a lot more um, research in there that'll keep you busy, both speeds, tactical scrolls, and gold-wise, so you'll probably run out of those before uh, reaching MA5 unlocking, so there's no rush to really get there, um, other than KE40 will give you the rally spot, but even at rally spot 38, um, and a March size base of uh, almost 2 million. And I, I, I typically don't use um, March size buffs in Battlefield just yet. Uh, frankly, it's uh, by the time I join all the rallies and stuff, I, I am running out of troops uh, quite quickly. Uh, so it's, it is it is easy to do. Uh, so as you can see roughly by uh, what my presets are, I'm using about a third to a quarter of my troops. So range, I've obviously trained a bit extra range, T12, T13, primarily T12. Again, it's cheaper to um, to train those, so it's nice to bulk up on that. Again, I'm a filler. Uh, more T13s would be great, but uh, it is what it is. So even Cav, I'm almost looking like I only have three marches there just based on the slider bar. Um, same with my T11 preset. I probably only have about three of those. And then, yeah, Big Siege, I'm looking at maybe two of those. So, you know, I joined two rallies with that, and we do some damage, but, you know, only so much comes back from a rally, and um, uh, I'm, I'm running out of steam. And then, then, of course, too, if I get a smack and lose a lot of my troops. So, yeah, so I think just increasing, just KE39, Rally Spot 39 is a great, great spot. Um... Uh, where are we at? So that increases by about 40,000. So, you know, roughly uh, my rally size goes to almost 2.2, which means with buffs and other things, uh, you know, uh, all my, my siege uh, skill sets and stuff, it's, um, you know, it goes up to maybe 2.4, 2.6, which is really nice. So from there, it, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be increasing some power, some bullets, uh, maybe get my layers up to 1 million aim for one and a half million and then more t1 cav but yeah so ke 39 ma4 rally spot 39 really sweet spot to get to uh shrine 39 would be great again talking about those extra buffs but this does get expensive to start unlocking so you know the 37 which doesn't get you anything is you know roughly two million of each resource and then 38 39 are much more expensive so that's where those that extra five percent now is pretty expensive to unlock and um, I'd probably, weighing the pros and cons of that, would probably rather have more troop count uh, than, uh, say, a Shrine 39. 36 was nice to unlock for a couple rounded 5%. Um, hmm. So, yeah, so Victory Column, yeah, 3 would be a great goal. 4 if I can manage it. I don't think I'll ever in my lifetime... On my keep go to five because that requires, uh, I believe, five or six max spec gens. Uh, so that's quite a hefty, uh, quite a hefty uh, prerequisite to uh, to increase that. But increasing as much as I can to once again get a bit of general buff, march speed, but also reduction of research and construction speed. Uh, ideally, I I want to try to get this up and move some gear around both for my sub gear because you know I have uh, helm and legs there I can use uh, legs there I can use and then uh, my generals here I can move stuff around I've got that uh, so you know uh, hopefully I can move some pieces around and get them I think I'm very close uh, I'm just not ready to construction so maybe during this uh, 
uh, RSS consumption, I can I can give it a go. And same with Triumphal Arch. Once once again, that it's primarily for that reinforcement capacity and a bit of troop troop buff percentage there. Uh, obviously, the rally capacity is not going to do anything for me. I'm not the rally setter. I don't have a large war hall. Uh, I have increased my market, and I think my embassy is still 35. So, embassy and market I'll probably increase. Maybe not my war hall, but uh, these two mostly, once again, for the reinforcement capacity increase. So, right here um, beside the level is your reinforcement capacity. So, uh, when I go from 35 to 36, it's going to be 8 million to 8.6. 8 and again, with the research buff, yada, yada, yada. And my duty gen, um, I get a little more extra there. Um, so it'd be good to to be able to, to take on a few more extra reinforcement marches and, and take some defenses. Um, for, for battlefield, anyway. These are pain in the ass. Uh, what do we got? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's me reinforcing other people. So the last couple of battlefields, I've kind of taken some pretty harsh smacks there. I've gotten cleared out. Very aggressive uh, competition. Uh, so I didn't do well defending against archers, unfortunately. Yeah, that was a bad hit. I should have probably ghosted some calves, but I uh, only had one reinforcement. But yeah, that was a harsh smack taking out most of my T1 calves too. But we can see the debuffs there. So, you know, with my pieces and all that, I got to, on this particular uh, rally setter, he's only, uh, he's got uh, just under 2k attack. And I got that fully debuffed. Um, defense and HP, obviously I could use more, but I don't have it. So, it is what it is. Um, Siege Machine HP debuff. Well, actually, you know, it's not bad considering I don't have a huge focus on... Um, you know, all, all the other extra special Sid pieces that offer uh, extra P, um, extra debuff on that. Uh, no Nero's Ascended, so forth. So, and again, Siege, I'm not too, too hyper worried about. Um, so here's one that went, oh yeah. So the probably Cav, yeah, I could have called that. So yeah, I had ground reinforcements here. Um, so obviously it didn't hurt my direct keep. As bad, they probably cleared out the rest of my T1 calves, so I was probably really hurt after that. And yeah, this guy tried to solo me, suck. Uh, probably healed some uh, troop layers. So that's a nice little defense. This guy got fucked off. And but yeah, they I think they rallied me again. There they go. They cleared me out, so I didn't have any rains. Rains were dead. They did a ground ground attack. Man, they smacked me hard there. So and that's the way it's been for the last couple. So when I get to that position, it's healing uh, some presets, joining rallies, ghosting those um, healed uh, marches, and pre-raining. Uh, so those were kind of me. Otherwise, we've... Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Well, then, do we get any rallies that join? There we go. That was a nice rally. That's pretty sweet. There we go. There's another nice one. Zero to defense, probably not mine. Oh yeah, here we go. Sucka. I don't know why this guy sieged me. What the fuck? Alright, so this guy splattered nicely. Sucka. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, this was probably near the end of the battle. Uh, let's go for another defense here. Oh yeah, here's a solo. I'm positive. Probably took out some upper siege. Uh, if we dive into it, this guy went positive. Yeah, so you probably heard my siege. Um, another solo. Yeah, he tried ranging me, but uh, yeah, man, I'm stacked with fucking. Who's all in me here? Oh yeah, got some peeps. Yeah, so I should be ghosting these uh, these calves. These T14s, but yeah, he the wall stopped there. So if we check the report here. Uh, oops. Oh, yeah. T1s did uh, a little bit of defending. Oh, here we go. Or is this the one we just looked at? Did he attack me? Twi nah. Okay. Uh, let's go a little further down because it probably was zero by then. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah this was a long one. This is, uh, I believe, All Stars qualifying. Qualifying pre-rain stuff, helping out the big boy. 
Oh, no, friends. Uh, here we are. Yeah, this is an archer. Yeah, so no reins. Uh, so if we look at this one, so again, archer. He's got high archer, 2378. That's nice. Uh, I might not have had sieve pieces. This is a couple weeks ago. I might not have had things sorted. So, and you can see that by the Siege Machine HP debuff. So I probably did a little more research in my academy since this. Um, but I almost got a thousand at this point. I had more HP debuff, it seems, but maybe I swapped the axe for the uh, Ares. That's also probably what's happened since. So yeah, this guy, this guy took out my uh, T12, T11. Man, he smacked me good. So yeah, I got to start ghosting that shit so that uh, he gets hurt. But I bet you if we go down to my T11s. There we go. So T, my T1s. Um, sorry, my T1s probably did. Yeah, they did. Uh, T1s and also uh, T2s engaged, but they took some some deads there. T3s as well. So that's why I've got uh, I've got a little extra layers of those. Gangus, Gangus, man, he. Uh, I think this was towards the end. Yeah, they were trying to. We got to ended up getting a heal, and I had some troops. Yeah, that's near the end of the battle. Holy shit. Yeah, this guy was fucking horny. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of defenses in this one. Yeah, I think this was... I want to say this was also All-Stars qualifier. So this motherfucker splat. So he tried cabbing me. And this is when I'm pretty hurt. I'm, I'm down to a billion. So I may have... Uh, we may have gone a team heal. And this fucker splatted. Well, I shouldn't say splatted, but obviously I won the power trade there. Probably the point trade, too. So, uh, I've got a max debuffed on the cav attack. Again, that HP has increased a little bit. It's really tough to find with pieces. So that's why I'm using those Ares swords now. So this is this is back in from March. Uh, nope. Let's see about... Nope. Let's see about... Nope. Okay, so uh, I'm positive on the defense, at least by power loss. Um, you know, uh, there's some videos out there that quantify how the um, points all work. So yeah, they calved me, probably after they archered me at this point. But uh, we'll have a look at another defense report. So yeah, they permanently, I get I get uh, reinforced with backup ground marches. Uh, most of the bigs, they've got two, but they probably use the primary, obviously, for attacks and cleaning up... Uh, Cleaning up keeps that have been rallied once and, and hopefully get a, a one-tap smack for a billion or so. Um, but I defended, which is nice. I'm, I'm only two and a half bill here. Um, you know, so I still have troops to join rallies and all that. Uh, if I can't port out or away from rallies, at least um, I can live on to fight another day. Uh, so this was a calf, so I got a max debuff that way. Uh, got decent uh, HP debuff and all that. Uh, let's see if I was bigger than this one. This is going back to March, so, you know. Oh, yeah, this is a calf. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so, yeah, my ground reins got hurt there. So, yeah, so uh, I think archer rain, uh, one ground rain and one archer range would do me a, a world of good. So, 21 million rally. Uh, not super big. Uh, you know, 35 plus in a battlefield. Uh, would have been pretty damn, uh, is pretty damn big. Usually that, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt anybody on a budget. It's possible I can survive it, though. This guy's trying to solo me. So this is, yeah, this is from earlier. This is back in February. So I was a little bit smaller. I was probably still working on pieces. But yeah, these guys are, yeah, this guy was just attacking and splatting. So doing a little bit of damage, but I'm winning the trades there. So there's another... I splat the mid report, and here's one. Well, he did a little bit of something there, so he really wants to use that uh, Minamoto there to try to fuck somebody up. What's this? Oh, I must be ghosting at this point, and we got a heal. Oh no, that was a that was a building I saw. Yeah, it might have been zeroed by this point if they're attacking other big players. Okay, so there's there's one. Where's that a car? 
Yeah, so. And again, it's uh, so it's nice to go positive on some of these uh, defenses, uh, but it's also to you know keep me alive to heal a march, and 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 still join it and and not have to worry to dodge out. This is another good defense, but again, uh, not nothing too crazy. That's a that's a twelve million rally, um, which is not very big. Uh, it's very tough to do damage with only three or four marches in your rally size. So. Um, so it's 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 more more probable that I'm gonna go positive. Uh, so this guy's just planning with this uh, fully ascended Minamoto, Minamoto, Minamoto. Yeah, they're spotting this. Is this towards the end? It's probably near the end. Uh, yeah. Oh fuck! Wait a minute. Let's have a look at this one. So it's probably raining in this one. That one positive. That's good. That one positive. That's good. It's gonna hurt though, it's gonna break you down. Yeah. Oof. Uh looks like it was in a building though, 100 100. Yeah, it was zero here by this time. Yes, Captain fucked. <laughs> yeah, this, this well, yeah, this this team obviously had a better. Uh, yeah, thirty one million. Yeah, there you go. Thirty one million. You're you're getting some big big. So this guy's coming in for a uh, mount attack. That didn't work. I think they rallied me. Yeah, there you go. So that cleared me, but I was already hurt probably by this time. Uh, so yeah. Didn't go positive on that. Uh, so here's no rains. Um, went even, but obviously this basically killed me. I'm a one tap after this from a solo. Um, unless I heal some uh, heal some layers, but it's only a matter of time. So looks like I, we got healed. This is almost the rally over. Round over. Yeah. Maybe we're yeah okay so pro probably got zeroed there. So a couple other things too. Um, what makes battlefields tough for our alliance? I feel um, and makes me a prime target is they probably know I'm a T1 cav defense keep on a budget, even my size and. Um, Power level, keep level, uh, it's pretty sus. I'll let them, uh, you know, uh, a very low coiner, I would say. You know, I spend on this account roughly maybe uh, now that I spent to get a couple of pieces of Civ gear and all that stuff, I'm really only buying stamina packs and the um, the uh, the packs with uh, the better gem counts uh, and then the alliance card. So I might be spending 50 to 100 bucks USD a month on the account so it's very budget take a shot uh so I'm, I'm usually a primary target which is why why my alliance usually pre-reigns me first and at the start of the battle um and other keeps will port uh they might not have as many t1 cav uh, troop counts and other other keeps are bigger so the good and the bad and the ugly of alliances and this is of another alliance i know of hint hint wink wink is um We've got really, really, really big keeps, a couple medium-sized keeps, and then lots of, you know, smaller keeps, smaller players. Um, and the trouble with that is, is it makes it a little tougher for matchups, um, primarily because we match up with, um, you know, alliances that are more rounded. And by more rounded, I mean um, that have... Um, that have... Uh, um, more keeps with the same power uh and it's just uh, i think it's it's more effective to have you know a battlefield filled with 15 to 20 keeps that are all between 6 billion to 12 billion with a rally leader than it is you know 15 to 20 keeps with you know two uh one one guy at 25 billion another at 16 billion 
uh, five keeps at, you know, eight billion, and then a bunch of three to, uh, you know, one to four billion keeps. You know, it, it's easier to, to, to get rid of the rally fillers, target them first, solo them if need be, and then work on your, your big keeps. Uh, it can make for a boring rally uh, battlefield too that way, where it becomes just a, a matter of who's healing enough marches to keep rallying the big guy and keep up, keep ahead of the points. Um, but, I don't know, it's still a troop building, portals, uh, there's still a lot of tech there. Um, but it can be difficult. Uh, I've noticed that uh, where, you know, a lot of people have reduced their coining. Um, the people that coin very heavily still continue to do so. And, um, you know, continue to grow far past um, other keeps in their alliances. And that, that could make for, you know, just, just odd and awkward um, matchups. Um, so... And just based by the power sign up uh, stuff, so I know a few alliances uh, and other keeps that are having that issue. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it from my point. I, I really enjoy this uh, my little keep here uh, with um, you know doing what I can on a low coining expenditure. And uh, like I said, just uh, I have a notepad with my priorities of. You know, what, who am I sending first, what gear I'm refining, what generals I'm aiming for, what research I'm doing, what buildings I'm unlocking next, which troops I'm training. Uh, and again, always min-maxing uh, what you can with your speeds and your resources. And which again, uh, coming back to the principles, is why I always have all four troop types training. I have a research and a military academy research going. Um, I offer ten times a day. That's... Um, before it gets really expensive into the thousand gems and then certainly 1500 um, um, yeah but uh, there's a lot you can do with um, maximizing uh, event rewards especially the consumption events where it's speed ups obviously RSSS which gives you the best kickbacks of speed stamina materials uh, which was really vital when I was trying to complete uh, debuff gear and also civ gear and attack attack gear. Um, uh, barbarian events is one way to get some gems. Uh, I got to be a little more active with that. Uh, not necessarily to get top five, but to at least just unlock your 500 million uh, reward point uh, uh, goal. Uh, you get, get quite a bit. Civ gear is, or sorry, Civ treasure is another thing I'm slowly trying to work on. Um, I'm Civ gear two. It'd be really a, a treat to have three, um, because uh, you know you do get again that it's aiming for those ten to fifteen, five to to fifteen percent buffs. Those are really great achievements as a, a low budget keep. Take a shot. Um, to try to aim for and it's really exciting to, to unlock those uh, you know that's like a really good achievement trying to you know um, again slow budget low budget um, you know get those rewards uh, like the civ treasures are usually rewards in most of the major ones like trial of knights tactical research um, the refine event if I recall correctly um, there's sources for it but I, I am quite a ways from from level three uh, free to play is ridiculously slow. Ebony are absolute fucking cunts for making this level eight. Remember when it was level? Th I think level three was the max. And everybody deconstructed all their extra shit, and they're like, "Oh no, no there's level five. And then big keeps that got level five were like, "Okay, good to go." And level eight, like level eight, is literally insulting. It's fucking insulting. It takes so many fucking like it's. You'll never free to play that shit ever. It's in fucking possible. Like. It's fucking... It's just gross. Um, level 5 is, like, okay. Okay. If you coin a little bit, you can get there a little faster. You get your mark size up. You know. But, um... Level eight's just insulting. It's insulting to ask that of anybody to, to... to There's no way you're doing that without paying huge heavy loads. And I know Big Keeps, air quote, um, that have coined quite a bit in the, you know, VIP 19 vicinity... Uh, that are level five, and there are maybe halfway to six. Um, uh, there's just no damn way. Like level eight is that's that is a fucking joke. 
I don't even want to know how many of those, each of those it takes. Like for level three, I'm like I said, I'm roughly halfway there, uh, so it's 1250. So yeah, I'm, I'm you know halfway there. I think I'm most given that you know it's not even keel across all boards. See, so, yeah, I got more of the sword or whatever it is. I got less of the egg. You know, so uh, roughly speaking, I'm halfway there. Uh, be really nice to get some construction. A speed, a time uh, debuff, and other other stuff. Yeah, I got a couple of these here, so I'll open them up. Yeah, that's only 15, 20 of each. So I've got to do that quite a few more times to, to get on board. So yeah, so some some of my generals, I got extra copies of stuff. Like I said, it's it's still going. It's uh, a work in progress. Um, I, I certainly want more Electras. So Electra would be, uh, so doing Relics, really important. I've started doing a few more of those. Uh, uh, lately, uh, certainly at least one, uh, except for Ymir Day, um, because once again, her thing is March size, March size, March size, March size. It's really nice to get uh, to unlock that for an extra ten percent. Um, but really, that's that's the base of it. With some, um, you know, what to aim for, the the generals. Um, I'll make a video of what tavern generals generals I think to go for. Although I've I've kind of really gone over which ones to really aim for um i would say if you're super low budget get trade on as your ground general if not save up enough blood of aries uh for this event uh because elise does elise and scipio uh do cycle in your rewards redeem here uh, and i would probably go elise if you can get that norway ridge the blue dragon unlocked wonder one dragon uh um, that's I think she's better on the offensive attack and also better at reinforcing if need be um, is who I would aim for I landed Ludwig um, I don't think uh, I wouldn't ascend um, myself Trajan uh, you probably won't get there based on I would have other priorities uh, I did have an extra copy of Ludwig I lucked out somehow but that's probably as far as I'll go for him and Really, the second star is not worth... I'd rather do uh, in-city troop uh, buffs on my duty gens before I would, uh, you know, aim. So, And to get three stars on this, I need five more of this fucking guy. So that's likely not going to happen. And uh, yeah, March size plus, yeah, plus four, that's not super hot. So uh, With the red star, you get a little more... Um, Stat buffs, and, and you do get a little buff um, uh, with mounted and, uh, and ground troop defense HP. Uh, but again, my ground is, is probably my definitely my weakest uh, march in this. Um, and yeah, I've only got four dragons. I've got uh, Thebes and the Norway Ridge and, of course, Fafnir and Celtic. Celtic or Celtic. Uh, but it would be wonderful to either have uh, Nidhogg or Ziz for mount, but... Uh, of the four all-star dragons right now, I would use, I would, I would barter for Colchian, Colchian, however you want to say that, um, for my big siege, and then hopefully Nidhogg, um, but yeah, Wonder 3, very tough to unlock, I'd uh, probably have to get my ground game up, um, get some more gear, uh, refine it, more troops, and save up lots of speed-ups, uh, lots and lots of speed-ups, so... Yeah, uh, I don't even know if this is enough, and, and a lot of this is going to go away once MA5 unlocks uh, to work on that, which will increase my bus for that purpose, but, uh, you know, uh, small keep can dream, and that's pretty much what I'm doing on that front. Uh, so yeah, so this is, uh, I, 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 uh, I used to say this is my T1 trap, um, and I think someone in another forum that I read... Uh, says that's the wrong term to use and I, I actually agree with him and i'll explain just in brief why before closing out is i'm four billion um when someone in battlefield or svs or anything sees four bill they're gonna assume i've got t1 cav and if they don't assume i have t1 cav they're gonna assume i'm bulky so i've got lots of troops of lots of types uh you know no one's gonna try to uh one shot me uh with a ground march or something um People do solo me, uh, sometimes with Siege, sometimes with Cav, sometimes with um, uh, Archer. And, and that's really not what the T1 Cav trap is about. And they describe the T1 trap as being um, 
you know, uh, below a billion power. Not necessarily, but, you know, typically below one billion power. K33 or above. And K33 because that unlocks act gear, which is your debuff gear. Um, and uh, really low on the troop counts. Uh, just kind of your layers. So, you know, 25 to 50,000 of every troop and every troop layer. So that means you're not really much of a rally filler. Uh, but then all T1 calves plus the flat refines. And in particular, the on the dragon, if you can, uh, calf flat HP refines. And the idea there is someone's thinking they can ground soul you. And they are going to splat to fucking high heaven. It's going to be... You know, 40 million to 500 million. It's going to be somebody just stacked with T-15s trying to fuck you up. And they're going to get steamrolled. And that's the idea. Is to trick, aka trap someone into thinking they can just one-tap you. And they get demolished. Um, so, very really, at, at 4 billion, uh, I'm, I'm a rally target. Uh, especially in Battlefield. So, I'm a... And again, that's why I chose choose to uh, debuff range and mount because I'm not really a trap. No one's thinking of one smacking me. Uh, players do to weaken, say, maybe my calves with a range attack or siege attack to get rid of any of that shit. Um, but yeah, usually I'm a, a range or cav rally against me, which goes back to the main principles of the um, subsidy tr uh, generals I've chosen for my debuffs. And the debuff gear I've chosen to amp up my range troop debuff and uh, cav uh, attack debuff. And then working on what I can for um, cav HP with the Jacksons and the Airy Swords and uh, the axes for the um, range HP. And again, I may consider if I've got enough mount attack debuff or a decent amount, and I'm, I'm pretty much maxing that, I may swap over a couple pieces to the fearless act legs for the range defense debuff rather than the mount troop attack debuff. So I should have some pieces. I have them hidden on... Here we are. So this isn't maxed with the gold because gold... So it's range troop defense and siege machine attack debuff. So the main thing to circle there is the range troop defense, which I believe... Let's see, do I have a piece that's maxed? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I do. I've got the pieces. It's just the gold is obviously... Um, the gold I'm hoarding out um, because I really want to use that for my... Uh, um, for my sorry my uh oh here we go is this it no that's the uh, mount maybe i got one on my piece anyway uh, that all being said yeah it's it's probably roughly 35 percent to 40 percent uh range defense debuff on the fearless piece so i may i may swap over to a couple pieces like that to to debuff uh, a range rally or attack uh further uh to get that going um, so yeah, that's kind of my build, uh, some, a few tips of, uh, how to do it. So I'm not necessarily a trap, but, but, uh, the principles and the build are the same in terms of your, your gear debuff, your defense general, uh, your refines, which gear pieces I would choose and reasons why you may choose different pieces and why. And, uh, just some ideas about how to build, uh, your attack generals and presets, um, and again, that VIP 15 offers a really nice array of uh, six marches, which again gives you a perfect amount of technically your ground or layer troop march, archer, cav, small siege, T11 siege, uh, big siege, T13 siege, and a heal preset. Um, I actually probably don't want or need uh, any more march presets. More is always nice, but really that's really all you need. Um, most of these are already set and, and, and ready to rock. Um, I probably need to make some adjustments on some of these when it comes to it. And of course, I've, I always got to fill out, uh, between bossing and battlefields and, you know, fill this out 10k each and all that stuff. Obviously, uh, I'm lazy. I, I want to use, uh, a preset for joining bosses, uh, already there and just like that. Be able to just hit it with one troop and forget about like I'm doing here. Uh, with no general, it's fine. Uh, that's the way I recommend it. And that's it. 
and then just adjust the one preset uh, before the start of um, Battlefield. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so again, I'm hoping to increase my victory column first a little bit, uh, maybe Triumph Arch. Uh, I am ready for uh, KE39. I'll probably leave that queued and wait till the speed up event for the rewards there. So being patient pays off dividends. Uh, unless you're coining heavily or have a lot of access to resources and stuff, um, you have to be patient with your resources. Use them wisely. Max out your rewards. Uh, get what you can. Squeeze the fuck out of it from this game. And pay them as little as you can. But yeah, with KE39 unlocked, I'll end up going to MA4 and Rally Spot 39. Uh, which are really, really, which is a really great goal for uh, someone with a low budget. Take a shot. And, um, yeah, being, being a rally filler and, uh, and having fun helping your team and, and, uh, yeah, building a little keep with a little bit of power and quite a bit of punch for what it is. So, yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, this is you Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. I definitely fuck you. <laughs>